Hey guys, so you're about to see some incredibly um, powerful stuff with Twitter Moments and RSI. Now, say you've created a whole bunch of Twitter Moments, which we all know rank very well in Google and also provide very powerful links to sites linked inside your Twitter Moments. Like a good example of that would be well, I'll just show you. I made this um, Twitter moment last night. Where are we? It's there. It landed on page five, indexed already. I'll, sh I'll talk more about indexing in a minute, but this is it here. It's got a DR of 99. So that is an awesome link. But what I did is I put it in RSI, and you can see them here. This one's by Tiffany. This one's by Deverne Brown, whatever. So they're different moments. Oh, they're different Twitter moments. This is the site, the blog that RSI created. Now, this is where it gets cool. So you've got all these Twitter moments. Now, instead of listing them individually, combining that with the power of spin tax, this is your default Twitter embed code but if you look down here so if you look below here this is the power of spin tax so we have all these individual unique IDs for the Twitter moments what we can do here is use spin tax in this section here replace that with the spin tax version of it so you put curly brackets the first ID then a pipe, next ID, then a pipe, and so forth. How cool is that? That means you can put one embed code in your HTML in RSI, and it will give you, every time it produces a site, it will give you a different, a randomized Twitter event. Also, here it says tweets by username. We can change that to, where is it? I just replaced that with spin tax. So I've, I replaced that with this spin tax. Too easy. So every time it, it embeds a Twitter moment, it will have a different keyword phrase and a different Twitter live event. Very, very cool. One thing that I'm using right now is this is the free online editor that I use to create the HTML for RSI. The beauty of this is it's just an online WYSIWYG editor and you click on source code. So what I do is create the, H create the site then I just put that line of Z's and then in the source code copy that to a text file and replace the Z's with my embed code and wherever I put that it will appear in RSI so a Twitter moment will appear here I, I like this editor it's called online HTML editor.dev very very simple to use and it makes working with RSI very very simple the other thing I use is what's called indexmenow.com it's a brilliant program I put that Twitter moment in yesterday two of them are indexed everything gets indexed over time this is a really good tool and really cheap so whenever I do a project like this RSI one, I copy and paste it straight in here, everything gets indexed and it just speeds up the process a lot. I wouldn't use this on a money site, definitely on feeder sites like what we create. But the main point here is in RSI you can now embed random live events with one piece of code. So wherever you put that, 
you can put that as many times as you like and each time a site or blog is created it, the software will randomly choose one of those IDs and keyword phrase that you put in there. So I'll put this embed code in the, the description of this video and I'll put a link to both of these sites. This one and this one. Very, very handy. So that's enough for a quick video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Listen, Twitter moments embedded on blogs are sending an incredible amount of link juice to your sites and they rank as well. Did I show you? This one landed in the index. Where is it? There on page five within 24 hours. So that's very cool. They won't, the, the idea of this is to get it on page one and bump the competitors down, of course along with the video and um, the, of course, the actual website we're promoting. Okay, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, jump on RSI before those, those massive discount coupons expire, and I'll see you in the next video.